All right, I'm gonna do this from my Zoom. I'm gonna get get on the G12 uh, Zoom link. That's where I'm gonna be. Are you there? All right, Jay Boss, are you there? I am here, Coach. Amazing, amazing. Let me get my Instagram up. Get my Instagram up. I'm actually going to see if I could put some more light in here. Give me one second, because you can't really see me, right? No, you can't. I think you face away from the light, it'd be better. Away from the light, okay. Yeah, so have the window facing you. There you go. Amazing. All right, let me change my shirt one second. Hey boss, thank you for being flexible. Good coach. <laughs> All right. You still see me pretty good. I can see you amazing. Okay, cool. All right. So let me go back to Facebook. Um hold on, I haven't worked with this computer in a while. Okay, here I go. Sex transmutation. Come on, copy paste. Yeah, this is not my computer. Can you hear me, J-Boss? Yeah, I can hear you. Amazing. So I was doing my little mantra real quick while we still prepping up. Okay, paste. Here we go. Oh, I'll have to share that on my Facebook page. Real quick. Uh, 
Amazing, amazing. Let's see if we're on. Okay, okay, okay. We are live. We are direct. Peace and love. Peace and love, everyone. If you're just tuning in, uh, we have a special segment today on uh, sex transmutation. If you never heard of sex transmutation, you definitely do not want to miss out on this information that me and my special guest is going to be sharing with you guys today. Once again, if you're just chiming in, go ahead and drop your city and state, have a good notebook, and uh, let's get this information. So we're going to be getting started here in just uh, one minute. We're waiting for the Zoom to load up a little bit more. We have people on Instagram. We have people on Facebook tuning in. So just shout out to everybody. Like I said, if you're just coming in, go ahead, share this with a friend. If you have never heard of sex transmutation before, uh, you definitely want to share because it's a topic um, worth worth listening to for sure, for sure. So um, I'm going to go ahead and dive into it, you guys. We are running a little late, just a, tech, a little tech, technical difficulty. But um, you guys, I wanted to come to you guys about sex transmutation because I did a video um, last week about it and a lot of people were interested in the subject and I had one of my special community members chime in and um, speak about the topic. So here we are again, phase two, we're going to be speaking about sex transmutation because so many people want to know about, wants to know about it. So um, I'm about to bring on somebody that I really like, love and trust you guys. Uh, he is a teacher by heart, um, a yoga instructor, um, you know, a humanitarian, a, 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 a tantric teacher, a, 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 so they call him Mr. Golden Arms because he's a, a amazing, amazing. I don't even want to say he gives massages. He literally gets down into people's soul and really works out the energy knots, the stagnant energy and things that you've been holding on to. So they call him Mr. Golden Arms. So without further ado, Mr. Golden Arms, can you just come on real quick, share a little bit about yourself. And then I got a couple questions I want to ask you. Hey, Coach. Hey, Coach. Peace and blessings, everybody. How you doing? This is Jay Boss. Thank you very much for that introduction. I greatly appreciate it. I do like, love, and trust you as well. A um, little bit about me. Well, um, I am a, I prefer to say that a touch specialist by trade. Um, I've been studying some things back and forth and dealing with uh, mind, body, um, mainly focusing on holistic healing. And so what that did was they had me explore different techniques, different styles, different, um, different uh, ways of thinking when it comes to holistic health and wellness. And so one of the things that really brought my attention was the practice of Tantra. Um, shout out to uh, my teacher. I always give shout outs to my teacher mentors, um, Miss Amina. Um, she and her program and her teaching really showed me a lot what I already kind of knew a little bit about, but it really went deeper into the subject of sexual energy, of healing um, when it comes to the sexual nature of us, right? Because in our society, we're taught a lot about the negatives or seen as a very negative thing that, you know, that's hush-hush, undercover, you know, taboo type thing. But we have to all realize is that you know, sexual energy is in all of us, you know what I'm saying? It's an innate ability that we all have. So don't shame it, don't shy it, you know, it's something that you need to learn about it, you know, how to um, use it responsibly, you know, not to be overindulgent with it. And um, that was some of the things I learned. So we are having this conversation right now on how you can literally use that energy, right? to bring forth transformation. That's what it is, transformation. So uh, that's where you go. Let's go, let's go. That's powerful, that's so powerful, that's so powerful. So check this out, J-Boss. I have a couple, uh, I got a couple questions for you because I know the audience is still 
you know, a little confused maybe uh, about, about everything. And my first question is like, what is sexual energy? Like, what does that even mean? Good question. Great question. Great question. I had to send me some water real quick. Um, sexual energy. What is that? What is sexual energy? Yes. Well, let's talk about it like this. If you were to look at it from a, a lot of people think of it in a sense, I think of it from a Vedic, holistic point of view, energy point of view. Um, a lot of us are familiar with what is Kundalini, Kundalini energy, right? What Kundalini energy is, is this innate energy we all have within us, right? Starting at our base chakra. It's mm -hmm. like you, it's it, it, and using a visualization of it, it's like a two coil snakes, right? They just coil together, right? Okay. And that energy is just sitting down there. It's sitting down there, right? So when the energy is inactive, it's just just sitting down there, right? Okay. Now, right before the base chakra, I mean, right above the base chakra is our sexual chakra, our second chakra. So what happens is, is that when you are excited when all 10 of your faculties all 10 of your physical faculties are all being stimulated within your mindset at one time that's sexual energy that energy that we all desire strongly for something we strongly desire for so when we're having sex for instance if you think about how intense that energy is especially if it's someone you really like you've been trying to get with you know someone that you've really been having this this drive, this desire, this sexual energy for, right? That you're strongly attracted to. So sexual energy in all essence is strong attraction, strong, intense, emotional desire. Wow. In many terms. What was that last part? I'll say it's strong, is strong emotional desire. Wow. 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 Wow, that was powerful. That was really powerful, J Boss. So um, if I can elaborate on the same question that I asked you. Yeah, um, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I, I would say, um, you know, I mean, to top it off, I mean, you pretty much, you pretty much laid it down. <laughs> you pretty much laid it down. But if I could top it off, I would say yes. I, and I'll bring it back to this. this is something what I said last time. You know, um, we have been taught that, you know, um, a sexual energy is something wrong. It's something bad. It's something that's been shunned or, you know, looked upon as um, a bad thing. And, you know, really what it has done is it has called, caused us to use our sexual energy in an ignorant way, you know, really in an ignorant way. And I say that because, um, excuse me, the laundry just stopped, <laughs> but I say that because uh, now we're just out there, you know, sleeping with people just because. And doing things like that, if you think about a dope mad man, somebody that's mad on dope, right? You could be a sex mad man. And when I say man, I mean man and woman, because that energy is out of balance. It's not being used to its full potential. We have been taught to think that that energy is just for reproducing and fun. Even animals have a seizing a season when they mate but for for people we just think it's open season like it's whenever with no intentions so what we're, we're saying today is that we're going to be really diving deep on we already let you guys know what sexual energy is everybody feels it but we're going to be showing you guys how to seriously use it with intention so that's my opinion I have another question from last Meg segment that somebody asked is what is sex transmutation? Like, what is it? We know what the sexual energy is, but what is the transmutation part? Sexual transmutation. Good question. Good question. So first and foremost, I want to direct everybody to this book. Think and Go Rich. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Also, too, 
And I'm just letting you know, you're going to see some, probably see some notes and stuff because as we all know, note takers are money makers. So look, check it out. I actually, if you actually look on, see if I can get in there, chapter 11. And it's amazing that's a number 11, but for all my numerology people, you understand when I say 11, right? Number 11 talks about the mystery of sexual transmutation. So to sum it all up, in a short form, sexual transmutation is where you're redirecting that strong expression and thoughts on the physical expression and you redirecting or changing the the focus or the a desire to another another focus or another another situation so say for instance you know um instead of um instead of using that sexual energy just to release, if you know what I mean. Um, you redirect that energy, that desire, that strong passion, and you use that thought and the strong energy of, e of emotions, and you redirect that towards whatever it is that you want or that, that you desire to create in your life. That's the short form. What's your, what's your, what you think, Coach? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. First and foremost, if you guys are just tuning in on this live, don't forget to drop your name and let us know what city, country, or dimension you're tuning in. Also, if you're getting value from this, drop some 10-10s ten below. If you're literally like getting some value, like this is very much intriguing you, drop some 10-10s ten below and tag about three of your friends to this video right now because we're about to get a couple levels deeper and we don't want nobody to miss out on this information so once again if you are truly liking this from your heart go ahead drop 10 10 below and tag three of your friends so i'm glad you reverted it right back to me because i love this topic i love this topic because yes. i feel like it's very taboo and um, I feel like a lot of people in leadership talk about it, but they don't get deep about it, maybe because they don't know how to be quote unquote political correct. But I just give it to the people straight raw because everybody needs to be tapping into this. So when I think about sex transmutation, I think about just like how you say, you're, you're taking the physical. Now, see, because the desire for sex, the emotion of it is physical. But when you match the emotion in the in the in the feeling of sex with your mental, with the spiritual, you embody the two. And when you embody the two, you bring that desire of what you want into your reality really fast. Because remember, sexual energy is the strongest. Yes, I was about to say that. Strongest stimulation. Like Jay Paul said, it's 10 stimulations. You can combine all nine together. They're still not going to be stronger than the sex urge, the urge of sex. There's nothing wrong with having the urge or the desire, but you got to transmutate it. So I'll, I'll add, you know, maybe one, two things. Like you have to really, like I said, you have to take it out of, ooh, this is physical, ooh, this person looks good, ooh, they're good in bed. Like all of that stuff is cute. They could be the best in bed. But if you're not putting any intention behind why you're with this person, if you guys don't mm. have any clear goals, you're not transmuting anything. You're just wasting your sexual energy and you're wasting your time. And, and I even have to just touch on the men. You know, going out there, having sex with this woman, having sex with this woman and that person, that's not cute. You're really wasting your potential. You literally can be taking that energy and put it into somebody that romantically. See, there's a difference between just making love. When you do it with somebody that you're romantically involved with or you love them, it adds in the extra emotion and it helps you, you know, transmutate uh, that mm -hmm. sexual energy. So we'll get into some text and techniques on how to do that a little bit later i got a next another question for you jay boss yeah. now this question right here i've been getting this question a lot 
Um, and once again, you guys, if you're enjoying this, drop 10, 10, 10 below and go ahead and tag three friends because they need to know this information. Three. Uno, dos, tres. Ein, zwei, drei. Whatever your language is, right? So <laughs> check this out, J-Boss. Um, what has this have to do with finances? How does sex transmutation or sex and finances even go two and two? Oh, great question. Great question. Great <laughs> question. We could take that on many different levels on like explaining that, but we're going to go ahead and just say it like this. So <laughs> if you think about it, if you're so focused on sex, right? Like sex is on your mind all the time. That desire, you're wanting it, you're desiring it, you, you, you got to get it, you get you want it, you're, you're feeling for it, right? Now flip that same strong feeling to wanting that bank, wanting that money, wanting that, wanting that, wanting that, 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 that house, or you know, what I'm saying wanting that, like have that same desire and dis and, and and distinction of focus on what it is that you desire. I I can even go into um, saying like this, like so, in part of my um, meditation practices that I do, um, one of the techniques, I'm not gonna go into detail because I'm gonna keep it G-rated on here, but one of the things that you do is that you're using your intentions as you are building your desire. And so in focusing your attention, you push it on the mental thought of, I got this. My bank account has ten thousand dollars in it every month, and as you are, are are focusing your energy there, that will help to produce something in life. Because guess what? We produce things by thought. Thought produces things, right? So if you're using that energy and that focus upon your financial life instead of just the physical life, you can literally transform. You you, you know transform your financial your financial standing. What you think, Coach? Let me get your opinion. I know you got some. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yes, yes, yes. I love how you say we got to keep it a little PG because some people are already over here clenching their pearls. Like, what? Like, what are they talking about, right? Mm. So what we're talking about is how to change your life, right? And how you can take this skill, because it's a skill set. It's something that you have to work on. It's something that you have to strengthen. It takes mind power to be able to uh, flip your thoughts in the, in the, in the middle of, um, you know, making love or, or, or whatnot with the person you're with. So I would say, how does finances and sex transmutation go hand in hand? Oh, that's an awesome subject. Because it goes hand in hand is because, first off, you can manifest anything that you want with sexual energy. You can heal people with sexual energy. You can literally become healed. It's like a... Woo! You get what I'm saying? It's Woo! Hey, coach. Yeah. I'm going to go there right now. That's another... That's, that's part two, part three. That's part two, part three. I ain't going to get too deep. But it's literally a healing mechanism. Right, so if if this power is so almighty, what do you think you could you do with your finances? Right, you can use this energy, and we're gonna give you guys some techniques, so we'll show you. But you can use this energy, and you can literally think about that dream car that you want. Think about so, for example, you guys, if you all don't know, me and Jay Boss, we're in the foreign exchange market. And if you are not in the foreign exchange market, what does that mean? That means the exchange of Forex currencies. We use this energy to be able to hit it big in the charts. Now, we ain't going to get too deep on that. We ain't going to get too J-Boss too deep on that. They want to know how to do it on the charts, how they can roll and multiply their money from the Forex market and then use this power. You're going to have to hit me and J-Boss up uh, separately. But... Needless to say, you guys, you can use it to manifest money. And um, there are some techniques that I'll go back in and I'll tie in 
and let you guys know how you can use it with money. Um, let me first go to my next question that I had. I think it might be that question. Let me see. Let me pull up my questions. Let me pull up my questions real quick. So, okay, yeah. So um, if you don't mind, J-Boss, I'm going to elaborate on this question and ask you, but somebody asked, what are some techniques uh, of sexual transmutation? So I just want to piggyback off of that and, and speak about how you can really manifest um, money. So one of the techniques that um, you guys can use is let's just say this for, for example. Um, I don't know about you guys, but we have smart money TV. And if you don't have smart money TV, you need to turn your cable off and you need to switch to smart money TV. If you're interested in smart money TV, get with J boss or get with myself and we'll explain to you how the smart money TV works. But I may be watching smart money TV, sharpening up my vision so that I can imagine certain things that I want to bring into my reality. So one of the techniques that you can do is when you are in a aroused state, right? When you're in a state of arousal, meant, if that's the word, right? If you're in that state, what you wanna do is you wanna switch your mind. Let's just say, uh, you know, you wanna manifest a, a luxurious house. Cause who just wants an average house? Like, don't even lie to yourself. Like, oh, I don't need money, I'm good. You need mo more money to help more people. You cannot help people just with a job. You can barely help yourself with that. But if you use the power of your imagination, coupled up with your sex desire energy, you can literally manifest that at house. So what you wanna do is first off, maybe you wanna have some pictures of a luxurious house somewhere in your room or somewhere in your bedroom, wherever you're gonna be in your private intimate space, I want you to have those pictures. Some people call it a vision board. I say make a vision environment. And as you're in that arousal state and you're thinking about whatever it is that you're thinking about that has you in that state, what you do is you switch your mind very quickly to that house. Start looking at the house. Put those feelings into the house. How does it feel when you're in that house? How does it feel when you're in that big bathtub? How does it feel when you're in the backyard in your pool? How does it smell? How does it taste? Then you switch your thought back to that, that arousal thought. So you go from being aroused and thinking about whatever has you aroused. Maybe it may be your significant other. Some people get aroused from just simply being alive. Whatever it is, switch that for a second and think about that house. Think about that brand new car. Sometimes I may switch in between, um, like when you're about to hit that climatical uh, state, if that's the word, <laughs> when you're about to reach that point, stop yourself at that moment. And I start thinking about the people I want to help, the people I want to bless. I'm not only just using this energy on behalf of myself, I'm using this energy for everybody in the community. I stop and think about how happy my mother is when I pull up in the driveway and I just give her some, some house keys. And she's, she's already knows what that means because I already told her I'm going to get her a new house. So right before you're about to climax, use that to think about what you want. I have so many other techniques, but I'm gonna keep it right there. And like I said, if you guys wanna get deeper into manifesting money and using this energy, definitely get with, back with me and Jay Boss. And if you guys are liking this, drop some 77s in the chat bar. And if you already haven't, don't be rude, don't be selfish, hit the share button, and also tag three of your friends so we can help them come up. So Jay Boss, really quick, like what are some techniques that we can use for sex transmutation? Wow, that is so, so deep. Uh, matter of fact, coach, you pretty much hit on like the main general basis, but um, you said one thing that was very, very important, which was like, you can literally not just, it don't have to be for yourself, you know, you, you can use this for other people, you know, like focusing on your team, focusing on someone in your life that needs some healing or 
the needs, whatever it is as far as finances, like you can literally see them come up and give them the energy. Like it's not something you have to do just for yourself. So that's a very important point. Uh, as far as technique wise, I can give you a lot of stuff, but again, I'm not going to go too, too deep because this is, you know, I'm not going to get too deep into it because I can go deep with it. But I will say this. Women, you all are powerful. I'm just going to throw that out there because you all have the ability to raise that energy so many times without stop. Impossible, right? So you have the ability to create multiple of waves multiple of climaxes, right, in a, in a given time. So just know that women, you are powerful. You all are like the magic stick. Y'all, y'all, the, I mean, like the magic stick. You all are the magic jewel when you think about it. But for us as men goes, um, when it comes to us men, we have to think about a lot of men are not able to come to that state easily without some kind of stimulation as well as not able to do that state more than one time within a certain period of time. Every man is different. You know what we're talking about. So the goal for us men is to learn how to retain. You know what I'm talking about. Don't let it out. Retain it. Right? Uh, there is a, a technique that I, I won't go into detail here. But um, it's actually a um, tantric massage technique, right? That um, especially if you have um, someone to assist you, uh, but you can do this yourself, um, where you're literally taking that energy and you're retaining it and you're holding it in. So you're intensifying the feeling. Because us men don't have as many sensory perceptions through our body as women do. Women have 89,000. Men only have 4,000. So our intensity has to be heightened and work on a little bit harder. So you have to have retention, like retain for two or three weeks, seven weeks, like no for two, three weeks and see what that do for you. And I know this because it does work, but you have to be focused. You have to be really focused and you really have to practice your kegers, men. Men, we have kegers too. Is it kegers? kegers? Is it kegers? I don't think that's the correct term. That was. Am I using the wrong term? I think so. Somebody was saying something, but I think they get you. I think they get you. Okay, I got. Here's here's what I mean when I say this. So you know when you go to the restroom, and you got that last little bit you're trying to get out, and you squeeze your muscles down below. That's that muscle you want to focus on, and that's kegers when you're you're squeezing that muscle multiple times. So you do try to go for like 500 in a day or a thousand in a day if you can. Most people maybe only be able to do two, 300 and you just doing it, doing it, keep, I'm doing it right now. Aha. But look, Kegels, you can do it. Yes. Kegels. Yeah, Kegels. You can do it anywhere. No one even know how to know what you're doing. And you're strengthening that organ at the same time though, when it comes to the times where you're going through arousal, now you're practicing retention. Now the form of retention there's a spot that you will hold on your body, man. You will literally hold that spot as you're coming to that moment. And you will hold, you will do your kegger hold. And at the same time though, you will st continue on with the stimulation, but holding back everything else. But you also wanna keep that kegger on. Keep it tight, keep it holding, and focus your mind on what it is you're desiring. As you even come in, and us men, we have to work harder with this. So as you are working on that climax area, you focus on that tension, having a picture, uh, having a picture somewhere of whatever you're focusing on. Um, having it written down, like you know, you literally have your card if you got one, and be literally looking at your card as well as coming to that climax state. So that's a little bit of a G I try to I try to keep keep it clean as possible. I think that's about as clean as I can go with it without going to like, you know, anatomical, biological definitions and stuff. And I don't want to get too scientific or too R rated for people. Even yeah. though the music be worse than what I'm talking about right now. You got music that talk about this, that and the other, you know, so 
but I, I'll still be a, I'll be a gentleman and keep it like that. <laughs> yes, 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 you guys. Well, we're going to have to get rated R on the next one because this is stuff that people like to know, but actually the next time we do this, we will be doing this in a private setting. We wanted to share this with you guys, but if you want to get really deep down and uh, nasty with it, <laughs> definitely make sure you reach out to me and Jay Boss. We will be planning a private one. Uh, will be a paid session, um, um, I think next week or the week after. And like I said, if you're interested in getting into this Forex market and learning how you can use this power to make the right trade moves, like it gets deep like that right so we have one more question in closing one more question i got for the audience and we may take a bonus question if anybody has a question drop it in the comment bar we may take a bonus question about two what you think about two bonus questions yeah we can do that okay y'all put it in the um chat bar so the last question that i had was is this something that you can do alone what if somebody doesn't have a partner excellent question Excellent question. So um, this is something that you can do either by yourself or something that you can do with someone else. The intention is stronger, right? When you do this with someone that you have an emotional attachment with, the intention is stronger when you do it with someone that you have a strong affection for, um, a desire for. Um, now, I won't be one to say um, and act like, you know, you can't do this with multiple people. And I'm just saying this from a tantric perspective, um, from a tantric ritual. Um, I'm trying to say this without keeping, keeping it clean. <laughs> okay, let me just say it like this. You can use each other, right? You can use multiple people. Honestly, as long as everyone is focused upon the intention and the intention is is well understood and respected. Um, uh, again, this is a, a technique, you know, and, and, and in, in the, uh, the tantric community, there are actual rituals that are focused upon um, heightening and bringing about the sexual energy um, and a lot of um, alternative spiritual traditions um wicca being one um i know a lot of the of course the tantric focus ones uh even some taoist um practices have that where you are learning to do it either by yourself right or you learn to bring that heightened and focus and attention with a group of people so it can be something if, and if you want to go that deep with it just be you and your partner you know both of you are having the intention right the focus and at the same time though working together in unison in rhythm i don't know if y'all saw my call this morning my talk this morning but working in rhythm you know the up and down flow working in rhythm and you can actually heighten right because both of you all are focused not just one person focused another person just there you know as a tool that's that's not what we do you both have to have that intention to increase and make it even more powerful move but at the same time, it'll be respectful of the intention and not just the physical act. Like the physical act is all great, but you have to always make sure that your intention is always focused upon what it is that you're trying to uh, manifest. So yes, yeah, called mani manifestation, masturbation, or I had to say the word, I couldn't just hold the word in no more. Uh, or, you know, working with your partner in multiple ways, and bringing that heightened sensation. There's techniques out there that you can do, and it doesn't have to be um, a straight like let's get let's get down and do do and let's make this attention. There's actually some techniques. Well, I'm not gonna say the name because I know some people go out and research it, and y'all go do it anyway. But um, that you can really practice um, with someone who's trained and who actually has a respect for the ritual. And the process and not just trying to get one off so just know that don't do this with someone who's just trying to get one off male or female because then you're not really focusing on the attention and it doesn't really produce anything but a mess 
What's wow. your thought, Coach? Wow, wow, wow. First and foremost, if you guys are getting some value, I want you to drop some 44s in the chat bar. Drop some 44s, 44s, 44s in the chat bar. Also, if you're getting some value, go ahead and share this. Not sure why you haven't hit the share button yet, but if that's you and I'm talking to you, go ahead and share the, hit the share button because this is literally going to change somebody's life. Um, we could take one more bonus question, um, but I feel like, yes, you're right. So y'all get your bonus questions out. Um, you definitely can do this by yourself. This is very, definitely a strong practice that you could do by yourself. You'll use the same techniques. It will just be you. Um, and some people prefer to do it with themselves. Um, so you can, is it powerful with two? Is it powerful with more than two? Hey, we're not going to get too deep, but yes, it is because or two or more gather when two or more gather, you guys, you get magical things happening when two part, cause let think about it. Everybody, there's one mind and everybody is just a fragment in a piece of the one mind. So when two people, AKA two minds of the same mind come together, with a clear intent on what they want to manifest is so powerful. So yes, I know that was somebody was saying, you know, uh, and then somebody also asks, um, can you do this with somebody and they don't even know that you're doing it? You can, um, you definitely can, but it's definitely, it would be smart for you to bring them in because their energy with your energy with the same intent will literally amplify what you want when i tell you you guys like the only reason why i'm really sharing this with you all is because it's been something that, that i've been knowing for a while i just didn't know how to get it out to people and then there's something that's literally i it's so i can i can attest to how his results are working right so yes let me see if anybody has any other questions you see any questions on your end j box because i don't see anything i don't see none on my end coach all right, you guys. Well, if you don't have any other questions, like I said, uh, before we close this out, I will say, um, like I said, you guys, we're literally um, helping people learn how to manifest their money, not j just solely alone, first off, because of Forex trading. I mean, we're literally right now doing a seven day trial, tithing into our community, teaching them for seven days free like that's that's peace right and then on top of that we also teach practices on how you can use your energy to even amplify your trading game like that's magnificent right so um i i really really love and respect everybody for hopping on here today uh j boss do you have anything else uh no i just want to say uh first and foremost shout out to our team uh, shout out to you, Isis Love, because without you, we wouldn't all be here right now. For all the team is on. Um, shout out to um, G12. One of the G12. <laughs> uh, shout out, matter of fact, to G12. Somebody that's um down my that's that's on my line. Uh, Miss Star, you know, what I'm saying manifesting things on a on a mass level, taking ten cent and making more than I'm not even gonna say the number, but just know. There's some zeros behind that number. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Shout out to also Jakara who did the same thing. Put some zeros behind that 10 cent. Let's go. Then also shout out to my AP. AP meaning my um, uh, um, uh, uh, accountability partner who also doing big things as well. So shout out to her too. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to the whole G12 team. That's all I got to say on that. And I just want to thank any and everybody that came in on ISIS in as well as on my end that came in to listen to this conversation. We greatly and truly appreciate you and got mad love for you. There's no, if you got any questions, concerns, you can either hit me up or hit ISIS love, uh, ISIS love up and we'll be willing to answer your questions. Hey, don't be scared. What you scared for? This is, this, we're adults. Have a conversation, right? Don't be scared to have a conversation, whether that be about sexual transmutation whether that be about the money app seven day trial group or whether that be about just trading all together or whether that just be about, Hey, I want to network with you. Maybe we got some things we can collaborate together. Like don't be scared. Open your mouth. 
take some notes too. I like it. I love it. I love it. Closed mouths don't get fed, you guys. Literally, we have to break the habit. Us as people, we have this habit of, oh, I'm going to sit back and watch first. It's too many followers. We need to start tapping into our leadership, right? We need to start tapping into our leadership. We got too many followers. There's more followers than it is leaders. Followers love to sit back and watch people. Why? I don't know. Because watching somebody is not going to change your life. It may be inspirational. Like, oh, man, like they inspire me. But it has to come a point where that inspiration has to be transmutated into action. All right, you guys. Peace, love, and prosperity. And have a happy, merry day. Peace. Peace, love, and cocoa butter, baby. <laughs> All right, all right.